Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sonic Lost World LP. Uh, last time I finished the first two stages of the Windy Hill Zone. Uh, votes are in. Plenty of, like the majority vote is I go to the Nightmare Zone. Yes, yes, White Wisp. I really need to put these White Wisps to use by using my items. Anyway, most people voted I go to the Nightmare Zone right here. And I think two people voted I go to the Circus. No one, I don't think anyone voted I go to the Zone 3 of all things. Kind of strange. Anyway, for the Red Rains, I think I'm going to keep those for after I'm done with the Windy Hill Zone. Like I'm going to do a collection of all of them. Off screen, sort of, kind of. Like I'll, I'll stop to show where they are, but still. Anyway, Nightmare Zone, go. Sonic's going to sleep. And for a second there, I thought that, that was that was it for this zone. Jeez. But anyway, I've never tried this before, so this is like completely new to me. Hmm, the Nightmare Zone looks strangely a lot like uh, the very first stage. Oh, wait, it's gonna be like this? Uh, okay. Okay, that's kind of strange and different. Is this actually DLC or, or not? I think it is, but... Okay, finally, new area. And apparently I have to fight Zaz again. With a new uh, thing, uh, attack pattern. Not, not, actually it's not really a new attack pattern. It just so happens that it, he's using this thing. Instead of uh, the the object he was standing on back in uh, the first time I fought him. So did I just spoil myself of something? I think I did. I, I may have. Anyway, that was Zaz. <laughs> I think I, I think his name is Zaz. Should I go right into the eye here? Oh. Well, I guess I'm going to be fighting the Deadly Six before I'm supposed to. Uh, am I supposed to go into that thing or avoid it? I'm going to say avoid it. Okay, what's your pattern? Well, you got a big fish. I guess I should like try to go behind him. And that was death. I, I guess I was, try I was supposed to lead the guy into that. And now I have to start over, uh, over from the very beginning. That's not so good. Maybe I missed the uh, I missed the, like the midpoint or something. So is this like a boss rush? It, it appears to be this. Can I attack? I can attack Zaz while he's trying to attack me. That's how pathetically easy he is. And for that boss, apparently all I have to do is just avoid that one thing. I'm guessing for this boss, I was supposed to lead him hi lead him into the hole that I accidentally ran into over here. Let's try it. Where are you? He's throwing me some balls, but... Oh, there he is. And he got sucked in into the, his own abyss. How pathetic! Ah, and finally I bet I get a midpoint here. Dying before the midpoint? That never happens. And I'm probably missing out on a lot of the uh, bonus content right there, but that's what happens when you're playing a game with so much stuff uh, around. You're just trying to absorb the main level. Then you go for the extra bonus stuff. And I don't think I got a midpoint out of that, so... Uh, I'm still in danger zone. I think I can take some several hits. Hopefully. Oh, that, that was a fake? Of whatever she is? Mm, I guess so. So I guess I have to, like, find the real one. Or something. I'm not sure. Well, I guess I did the thing right. Now, time for this guy. Yeah, this is definitely a boss rush. 
like with new things. That's what I'm supposing this is. Anyway, there's a card going right over there. I guess I wasn't supposed to touch it. What am I supposed to do then? Uh, the card is blue. Well, the card is slowly falling to the ground, so maybe I should let it fall right directly into the ground. Mm, but it didn't do anything. So I guess I do have to touch it. Ah, okay, okay. I, I'm actually supposed to spin dash into it, not simply jump into it. One more hit and this guy is done, I bet. Well, in this boss rush of sorts. Because apparently you only have to beat like their phase, like their first phase once. And apparently this guy gets a big dragon, jeez. Totally not a ripoff of that one dragon in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Just hit the tail. It's big, uh, glowly red. The whole dragon looks like it's electrocuted, so maybe... Maybe I, if I touch it... Ah! Yeah, yeah, you almost got me, but you did not. Okay, where's the tail? Oops. How many times do I have to hit that tail? Maybe I have to hit the tail several times until he stops and then I have to hit the big red guy himself. Perhaps. Yeah, actually no, I just hit the tail ten times. That's it. Three, two, one, and I missed. Great. Sorry, knights. I screwed up your puzzle right there. <laughs> I like running around and missing everything too, by the way. Did So did I save the world or something? I guess I did. I got 16 animal friends? I guess it's like a change of graphic for the Knights character, Knights universe. Cuz I never actually I never actually did play any Knights game, so I, I'm not sure I follow what just happened. But 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 I won the stage, and now it's gone forever. <laughs> the zone will reappear after every 100,000 points scored. And I received a stage clear bonus, which is apparently a Wisp. Oh yeah, apparently there's new Wisps in this game. Yeah. It's not explained why the wisps are here, but there's new ones. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go to the circus now. Since I'm recording 60 frames per second, touch the trampoline, slide left and right to move it. Like this. So I guess this is a special event where you're supposed to only use. Yeah. It's like a touch screen only mini event. And I bet if Sonic falls to the floor the game is over wow you can get lots of animals out of this <laughs> sweet bonus yeah actually yeah this is like that this is like that game where you uh, put Sonic here can't I don't know what the specific name of the game is but it's a popular game that's very fun that I'm sure a lot of people recognize I'm sure if I could check it up online right now, I would know exactly what I, I want. And I have three chances to actually do this thing. Uh, I think I have a timer too. You guys are hearing that, right? I want to at least get... Uh, yeah, the timer was actually on the Wii U gamepad. So I couldn't actually pay attention unless because I was looking at the main screen. This is the thing about some uh, Wii U gamepad games. Uh, you can all, like, I mean, Wii U gamepad stages, because the game expects you to only look at the Wii U gamepad. A bit of problematic. All right, let's do zone three now. I'm probably gonna try to ignore uh, most of the red rings. 
But beyond that, this is also the last zone I played when I first played this game a long time ago. Because I remember this being this zone feeling bad to me. Like, it, it, it was not good at all. And it didn't feel like a very fun stage. Either that or I got stuck. <laughs> it's a bit bizarre because right now, this stage looks pretty fun. Doesn't, this doesn't look awful. This game so far has not felt all that awful. A bit simplistic, maybe, but not awful. I guess I'll use the wisp. I uh, have to use it when I'm standing. And despite the fact that it looks like uh, you need to uh, always uh, use the touch screen, you can, in fact, use the controller only. And this is exactly why you don't use the wisps. <laughs> well, I've got tons of items to use right now, so I'll use uh, this thing, this wisp. And it's a bomb wisp, apparently. I can jump. Actually, all the wisps, apparently, you can use the control stick and the, the A button to jump. To use them. They're, they're quite simplistic. There's nothing really, really complicated about the controls in this uh, game. Not that, not that it explains it to you. Ooh, almost died right there. Gotta be careful. And I guess here, I was supposed to simply go straight. Like so. Avoid the boulders, but you have to go towards them. Can you break that one? No, I don't think you can. Well, I haven't found a single red ring yet, and I bet I missed at least three. Let's look at this hint. Except you guys can't look at it because it's on the Wii U gamepad only. I'm going to read it, though. Press Y while jumping to bounce. You can bounce up to three times in a row. The third time will result in a big jump. So we stuff we already know about. By simply testing the game. But of course, some people might have missed it. Not to mention this uh, neat gameplay feature about uh, the controls might actually be used uh, sometime soon. Maybe? Maybe. I think the biggest flaw so far about this game is that there's no camera control. You're, you're stuck looking in the direction the game wants you to look in. Which makes it a bit difficult for you to find the goodies. Lots of wisps in this place. Let's use this one. Straight! Yeah, you can break the boulders with that wisp. Kind of cool. Breaking stuff? That's awesome. Especially stuff that wants to hurt you. Ooh. It's got crushed right there. And actually, is that a hole? I think it is. Not sure if I could go into it, though. And if I do go into it, I'm almost certainly going to die. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, well, <laughs> me rushing through that segment was a bad idea. All right, I take I'm back at the place where I died, yeah. Can you at least get this ring? And it's only the second one. Yeah, I remember. This is actually a fairly long stage, despite the fact how it looks like. I probably didn't want to touch that. Can't... Oh, I can break that? Okay, fair enough. I thought I needed a wisp for that thing, but I guess not. Sonic, he's actually pretty strong. He, he It's not a the Brawl Sonic. It's actually Smash 4 Sonic. That's totally top tier. Especially when in the hands of a strong player that knows exactly what you're going to be at all times. There's a bell right there, which means time for a bell event. Gotta go fast. Gotta catch up to the thing and maybe unlock something from it. Oop. Do I have to hit it one more time? Several more times. Ow. Oh, red ring. Is that my reward for touching the bell all uh, times I need to touch it? I think it was. Let's hope I don't die. Oh, no, it's the end already? Hmm, but is there a red ring somewhere? I want to say there is. No, actually, no, that was the last one. Okay, fair enough. In that case, that's it for this stage. The last one I played a long time ago.
More zones to select in two-player race. Uh, yeah, there's zone four here, but it's been uh, 17 minutes since I started uh, playing, so I think I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, I'm actually going to dedicate uh, the next video to zone four and collecting all the red rains in every stage. It might, if it, the video is too short, I'll also do one stage on the next world too. But yeah, for this for this video right here, that's it. Nightmare Zone, uh, unfortunately, uh, took a bit of too much time out of me today. And unfortunately, there's not much I can do in terms of pull. Or pulls uh, this time. So hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you all have a very nice day. See you next time.